What is up guys, welcome back to part 20 of my Witcher 3 complete 100% trophy walkthrough for, well, playing the PS5 edition as you know. Um, so we've just done the assassination of King's trophy, so all we're going to be doing in this video is basically s catching up with some Witcher contracts. So doing that one first guys, Witch contract mysterious tracks, come over to the nearest signpost and we're going to walk down to Lindenvale. We'll get one trophy here and connect it to a contract and we'll also play a few games of Gwent just as we're you know moving throughout the map and pass some new players. But we're all on the right track to pop the Gwent trophy guys just after finishing the main game. Yep okay so where we're heading to now we're at Lindenvale you see where I'm putting the marker down just about there. If you do every step in this contract, it will eventually lead you to somewhere around there. After using your Witcher sensor for the tracks and whatnot. But yeah, if you know where to go, you can just head straight there. And on top of the hill, there's going to be a like a hole in the top of the hill. Unless you drop into the cave. There is a side entrance, but you can only exit through the side entrance. You can't get in because it's sort of elevated. You normally get out from there, but drop in this way. So once you get here guys, where the entrance marker is, once you get close, the entrance marker on the map is exactly where the hole is, if, in case you're having trouble finding it. And once you dropped into the cave, all you need to do is examine all the bits inside. You can examine this beast, you want to examine the fur that's in its mouth, you want to examine both sets of tracks, and there'll also be a pile of blood to examine. Once you examine them all, you'll know because the, con the um, contract will update to acquire feed dung. Yeah, we're going to pick up some dung now. So if you come outside, there should be some dung on the right. Yeah, this red thing here. And if you need crow's eye, there's some crow's eye nearby as well, these little bushes. And once you've got the dung guy and the crow's eye, uh, come into your qu alchemy quests and create the chort law. Once you created it, Select it from the menu, you use it in the R1 tab you do, the quick slot. And um, you need to basically just go into each four of these little search circles. And just press R1 once to use it, you don't have to wait for full animation. Just press the button inside the circle to use it. And then move on to the next one. I do these two to the north last because um, once you've done all four, you're going to have to drop back into the cave. And these lead you back up near the cave entrance then. And what's going to happen when we drop inside the cave? There's going to be a enemy to beat. This five miles away. He's sure to show. Just got to wait in the cave. Yeah, I can't remember if this one's that difficult. It's a howler. Um, anything that deals fire works pretty well on this guy. Yeah, so once you've um, spread the short law at all four of them spots, you come in here and he'll spawn. Here he is. A little cutscene first to introduce you to him. The howler. Yep. Anything that does fire damage works really well on this guy. Despite the horns, yeah, fire works really well on him. I don't think he can freeze him. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, it's been a while since I recorded this part. I'm sort of I'm adding commentary on the days I get up, I upload these. So um, by the time it comes to um, adding the commentary, I've forgotten a little bit what we're doing, but it's luckily I've got it all wrote down from a text guide. Yeah, so loot him afterwards, guys. You will get a sword from him, a relic, and of course his trophy. You get the Azor Wrath Silver Sword, relic. So grab that along with the trophy, and then you can report back to the hunter at the quest marker. Come on, he should be back to the north in Lindenvale. And as you said back to him, guys, pick top option, hear about the contract. He'll give you XP times 320, and crowns times 193. Yeah, the funny amount, 193. Yeah, he'll be here. If he's not outside, just uh, meditate until daytime. All done, mate. We kill the Howler. Right, what contract is next? We're doing the mystery of the Byways murders next. So, which are contracts? Mystery of the Byways murder. Yeah, you want to come over to the signpost next. And I'm going to warp all the way over here to Byways. Yep, that little spot here. We discovered that signpost much earlier in the in guide when we're doing Kira Met's 
We are doing Kira Met's side quest, if you remember. It brought us near there, and we just slightly ran down the hill to discover that signpost, and then ran back and carried on with Kira Met's quest. So if you haven't got a signpost, guys, it's just because you forgot to do it, or you missed me when I did it. Uh, but you can just make a way here by a roach if you need to. But you should have that signpost if you've been following me well. But yeah, you just got to kill all these enemies around. Yeah, most of bombs work pretty well on these. What level are they? They're level 23. I can't quite see. Yeah, but once you kill them, guys, uh, you go over to the house. You can loot their bodies. Yeah, go to the house in the search area. You should get a little cutscene after a few seconds. And these two perps will come outside the house. Choose top options. Never seen ghouls come to the rescue. And I'm no see. Very. Yeah, they come out to help, but they're two minutes too late. Always the case. Yeah, so once you've spoken to them, you want to examine the two bodies in the search area. You don't need to examine a little doggy. Just examine the two bodies and then come over to this house, which is locked, the western house. Come over to it, interact with the door, and uh, this guy will interrupt you from behind. Choose the top options. You're still in danger, and give me the key. Oh, thank you, sir. Once you've given you a key, go inside this residence. I need to interact with the flooring. You should witch your sense and should be able to interact with it, and you reveal a little secret. Yep, yeah, come down, and there's going to be another witch contract enemy down here, guys. This is Sarasti. Once you beat him, you can loot him for a trophy. And the blow it aid steel sword relic. Yeah, this guy will drop. Yeah, this guy, you want to use Moon Dust and Dancing Stars on him. I don't think Northern Wind works on this guy. Yeah, so obviously Moon Dust is stopping from uh, going invisible like. And Dancing Stars just because it does a lot of damage as well. Yeah, so loot his body. Like I say, you'll get a Steel Sword Relic. And um, once you've looted his body and got a trophy as well, loot the two chests on either side. Should be one on either side with some goodies inside them. Got stuck on a little tiny rock there. No, wrong way. Turn around. Yeah, but I remember I remember that actually going the wrong way for a second. Yeah, so you want to just come back out the way you came in, guys. Up the ladder. You can see it's sort of the northwest northwest path you want to take so that's all we're going to do for is that all I do for that one? Oh, I do go and I actually go and hand that one in now yeah so you go back out well the thing is this contract you actually get a trophy for it before you properly hand it in I think you have to hand it in for the trophy for, the, for doing all witcher contracts yes yeah, so you come back into here guys afterwards talk to these two perps again and um, we got a trophy guys fearless vampire slave don't know about fearless, but I definitely slayed something. Back to the signpost. I'm going to warp to Oriton. And they're going to go to Milan Noran nearby. And you're going to tell him you'll hear about the contract, and that should complete it, guys. Yeah, so this guy over here, the quest marker. That should complete it. Mysteries of Byways Murders. So next we're doing doors slamming shut. Yeah, you can use the grindstone and the armorous table nearby if you want to, just while it's nearby. If you do so though, make sure you meditate before, because if you meditate afterwards, you're gonna lose that bonus. And it should be an absolute waste of time. Yeah, it's gonna warp all the way over here, guys, to Moldavi residence. We discovered this earlier as well when we were heading north for the main quest to go to the isolated hut. We discovered this on the way. Yeah, so doors slamming shut. I forget where. I think we took that quest in Novigrad. No, it's boss. Yeah, so obviously you've got two new relics. Uh, you can always equip any better weapons along the way. Just remember, do not sell any relics. We're probably going to sell some relics after the main game and uh, get on top of that. So once you're near, guys. would have attacked me already. Come downstairs and blow the wall out to the back. 
carry on down and uh, jump in the water to get your knickers wet. And once you're in the water, head east and climb out here. And pull the lever down. Don't get dry yet, we're going to get wet again. There we go. Yeah, back in the water. Now swim back over to that broken bridge and um, take the north. There's a doorway on the north side and it should be open now. Now we've pulled that lever. Yeah, in this guys, there's going to be a golem, but he's protected by a blue barrier. But if you use Ard on the crystal leg behind him, it removes the barrier and we can face him in battle to the death. So this is Terra Zane. Tell your friends about me. Yeah, Northern Wind works on him, as you can see. And he might retaliate with that attack, so be careful, it stings. Where are you going? It's going to run away then. I think it's going to hide in the corner, pretend to be a rock. I think it'll fool me. Yeah, so I don't think dancing, I don't think fire works on him, that's why I've not used dancing star. But yeah, northern wind and um, grape shot works quite well, that's just the start. So once you killed him guys, loot him. Yeah, make sure you get a trophy and you'll also get the cleaver hood steel sword, another relic for you. Once you've done that, get back outside. I don't think we have that quest until a bit later. Basically when we go nearer to the area where the quest the um, quest giver us. Oh, it's Kurt in the Kingfisher Inn, wasn't it? Yeah, when we go back to Novigrad later, probably in the next video or two, we'll just go and say hello to Kurt and let him know. Give him the good news. Okay, so, um, yeah, over to the signpost, guys. Meditate, get your bombs back. Yeah, going to warp to Lucian's Windmill now. Yep, yeah, so doing it. Witcher Contract, Lord of the... Is it, I think it's Lord of the Wood, yeah. So Lord of the Wood. So this one you can skip a you can skip a lot of this quest if you just know where the wooden stake is. So Lucian's Windmill. Yes, yeah, basically a wooden stake. It's actually really hard to find unless you know where it is. So it's quite hard to see. I think it takes me a minute to find it now, and I know where it is. Come on. It takes a minute to spot it because it's sort of blended in with a tree. Yeah. So watch where I'm going. You see the end of that path there, and go north, and you see the path. To the north, in between them two is where I put a marker down. You see? So put a marker down in between that broken path that ends and that path going from left to right along the top. Put it down in between them two directly, and that should take you exactly to where the stake is. Yeah, this quest can go on for quite a while if you follow all the steps. But yeah, if you know where it is, you can come straight here. So should be a big tree and the stake was there I didn't see it at first there it is yeah you see it this wooden yeah the wooden stake it's quite difficult to see unless you're looking for it but yeah that's where it is guys you need to attack it you have to press left on the you have to use the left or right on the d-pad to get your sword out manually yeah attack it and that will spawn the big wooden beast Yeah, now this guy can do a lot of damage, so be very careful. Yeah, I think he is a little bit... He's slightly higher level than this, I think. Yeah, but obviously he's made of wood, so um, fire works really well on him. And he, he does transform, but if you use moon dust on him, it doesn't seem to transform or warp away. So he can go invisible at times. But it will send like bats after you. And, um... Or birds, what are they? Bats or crows? But when I seem to use moon dust on him, the bats come for me more often. Because normally the bats are what make him sort of teleport. But when you've used moon dust on him, he can't. And the birds just sort of go haywire and try to peck you to death. But yeah, northern wind works quite well on him as well, as you can see. Very careful all them little birdies. Do not want to be killed by crows, I was almost. So 
So loot him afterwards. Yeah, for his trophy, and you get the black unicorn steel sword. Yeah, so once you looted him, meditate if you need to, get back on your horsey and just go back to Lucian's windmill. And then you're going to warp to Cunny off the goose. And when we get to the goose, we're going to talk to Brian Hodge. He should be waiting inside the goose. Nice, nice and moist inside there. Yeah, just look at my new relics. Yeah, so Cunny off the goose to the east. Yeah, talk to him, you tell him job's done. He'll give you some XP and uh, you'll get crowns times 195. Welcome, Master. Just care if you, yeah, uh, I was going to say, care if you don't stand on him by accident. These guys are tiny. Yeah, so, and then you want to play the innkeeper. And yeah, just beat him at Gwent now, guys, the innkeeper. Bet 10 crowns as always. If you're wondering why we didn't play these two punks earlier, yeah, we're about to play another punk as well. No, why? What are you doing, Geralt? No, I meant to go to the signpost. Yeah, if you're wondering why we didn't play the murder, I think I did mention this before, Ant, but just to remind you. Yeah, so to the signpost, guys, we're going to warp to seven cats into the north. Yes, because when we, I think we came here at the start, near, near the start of the guide, and we just had a really bad deck then. And when I did try playing these, I lost almost, I lost most of the games. I mean, I did win a few, but most of them I lost. So, so yeah, playing them now. So yeah, come into Seven Cats Inn, guys, and now play this madam behind the inn. Beat her. Right now with Beat Her guys, we're going to be doing the contract, the Oxenfurt Drunk. So come to the signpost, and you want to warp to Oxenfurt Harbour. That's how we're looking at the moment. Miraculous Guide to Gwent. You should be very, very close there. The only thing that might be different is the bottom amount. It might be, I mean for me it's six, it might be five for you, or it might be seven. Uh, but don't worry, they are random and I do play a few extra players. But then players above, like how many cards left in Novigrad and Velen and whatnot, that should be the same. If you've been doing a bit more than me, it might be less. I mean, that's okay. But if you if you need more than what I need, you've missed a player somewhere, guys, that I've played. Um, okay, so once you're here, guys, come into the, come into the inn and talk to this lady. I'm going to choose the top option. Let's talk about this attack, this beast. And then she's top option again. Take some coin. 30 crowns for you. I know it's nothing. It's like it's chump change. Uh, but once you spoke to her, guys, come around the corner in the objective area. Just around the corner, yeah, there'll be that bracelet to examine. Once you examined it, come back in and talk to Steppen. And have a drink, finally. Perhaps I, I recommend some moonshine. Yeah, just tell him you need a drink and give him 50 crowns of port. I know it's bloody mega expensive here. Won't be coming here again. Maybe it's too what they say. 50 pound for a pint, 50 crowns. But yeah, once you come outside, yeah, you're a little bit tipsy. Probably don't drink anymore. But yeah, all you need to do is go into each search area and then you need to wait for Geralt to start talking in the search area. Then once he started talking, he's basically started this little verse and then you can sort of leave the search area. 
but the search areas will not update until Geralt has finished the dialogue which started in the search area. So now it's updated to the second search area. Geralt started the dialogue. So now once that dialogue is finished, a third area will appear. And that's just around the corner here. Yeah, and this one. Now this one, this is where the enemy's going to appear. You'll have to wait for the verse to finish, and you might need to just move around a little bit. But yeah, you normally appear once you're in this third search area. It's the last one. Like I say, if you don't move, if you don't appear and you finish the verse, just move around within the search area, and it should force him to come out of hiding. Here she is. So just att attack her a few times, guys, and I'll scare her away. And I won't scare her away. Her hideout is to the north, so um, either normally you would follow the objectives and it will lead you there. But I know where I'm going. Yeah, so just head to the north. Yeah, you can take the grindstone and the armor's table if you want, just for a little buff. You, you won't need it. I think this enemy dies mega quickly. But yeah, but once you get to a house, you have to actually have to climb in through the top window using the ladder, and then drop down, and then just quickly kill her, guys. I set loot afterwards for some goodies. Yeah, of course you'll get the trophy for looting her. And you'll also get the Diggadif Silver Sword Relic, guys. And then report back to Nicholas Friedman at the QM. And then that'll be it for that quest. That contract, even. That one's completed. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit of a short one, this, guys. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be longer when I recorded it, but I guess not. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for that video, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.